take a look at this. I've added scrolling animation to my prototype in Figma. That's so cool, I don't even need the computer to show you how to do that. Actually, I do. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gal Barzila, I'm a product designer, and today I have a quick tutorial for you on how to add scrolling animation to your UI prototypes and bring them to life. So we have two types of scrolling. The first one is vertical from up to down, and the second one is horizontal from left to right. What you're seeing on my screen is Figma, but you can actually apply the same technique on any UI design software. Let's begin with vertical scrolling. I made this YouTube app concept, and of course I have the video content area right here. And now I like to make it scrollable. I'm not sure it's even a word, but let's go with it. So when you want to create scrolling animation, you need to take a moment and ask yourself, what is the scrolling area? In my case, it's the thumbnail cards right here. So now I'm going to select all of them and drag them out of the main frame. And now I can easily add more content if I want to, and you can get a better understanding of what's going on. Once I'm done creating my scrolling content, I'll select all of them again and create a frame selection by right-clicking on the mouse or you can also use the keyboard shortcut Option Command G. Now let's give our frame selection a name so we can stay organized and drag it back inside our main frame. Just like that. Side note, how can we tell all the layers are inside the main frame? We can click on Command Y and it will change to the outline view. And now we can tell exactly where all our layers and components are. By the way, if you like to see more tricks like that, you can click on this video up here where I talk about helpful Figma keyboard shortcuts. Now, the next step is to define our scrolling area. In this case, I would like the bottom border to be all the way down, but for the upper border, I like it to be just under this top menu section. Now, once we set it, I'll bring the frame selection beneath our navbar menu, so the menu will be on top of it. The final step is to prototype it. So I'm going to click on the prototype tab, click on my frame selection, and under overflow scrolling, I'll select vertical scrolling. Let's take a look. So if I scroll down, the content is scrolling nicely. But take a look up here in the upper menu, we have a problem. It's a simple fix. Let's add the background to the header. So I'm going to draw a rectangle right here by clicking R on my keyboard. I give it the same color of the background and make sure it's under the header layers. And now if we preview our prototype and scroll down, we can see that the content is scrolling beneath beneath the header background and it looks great. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. I have these hashtags right here and they're supposed to scroll from left to right. So now I like to add a horizontal scroll. So again, in this case, I'll need to add a few more hashtags so we can have more layers. I'll click on this layer, hold option on my keyboard and drag a new layer to the right. Let's duplicate a few more layers and change the text. Now you see that the frames I've added are outside of my main frame. So I have to make sure I put them under the main frame like this. And again, I can click on Command Y to preview where all the layers in the design. Let's align them perfectly together by using the alignment tool. Cool. Let's select them together and hit on Option Command G to put them inside of a frame selection. Let's reset our frame selection border to the scrolling area we want. In this case, it's the up left right borders. Go again to the prototype tab and under overflow scrolling, select horizontal scrolling. Let's preview it. And there you go. We have added this simple horizontal and vertical scrolling to our prototype. One last thing. If for some reason you like to cancel your frame selection, it's the same as ungroup them. So click on your frame selection and hit Shift Command G. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. You can follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Are you still here? Uh, I can see you smiling there. Never mind. See ya. Thank you.